it actually fixed the problem. And not only that, now my solar panels keep my batteries charged up. It's been at 100% since 10 o'clock this morning, and it's plus 3.37 in the afternoon. So I can't believe I've had this problem all this time, and I didn't know it. <laughs> that could have saved me a lot of propane from running the generator all the time. So anyway, uh, so here's a little video just, just to show you the steps that I took. Um, I'll tell you what they are. got the camera out too late but dogs were barking over here and the alpacas were making the distress noise and I think there was a coyote over here I thought I saw something through the fence but it seems to have gone now is there a coyote over here guys see anything out in the field but Bob and I came back from Sholo the other day and we did see a coyote running across the field so they do come out here but it looks like if there was one it's a con okay was it a coyote Amadeus was it a coyote Huh? Can you tell me? <laughs> Gamadeus doesn't like the camera. He won't come over here. He's ignoring me. He's ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> solar system, my electrical system in the van. Actually, I have been having this problem since the day I got it, apparently. <laughs> and I just didn't know any better how it was supposed to work. So when I boondock, um, I usually have to run my generator once or twice a day to keep the batteries charged up. Even though I have three 100 watt solar panels and a 2000 watt inverter and two 100 amp lithium batteries, it just um, would never stay charged up. So I just thought that was normal. So a couple of days ago, I was uh, heating up uh, water to make coffee and uh, I turned on the induction cooktop and it stayed on for a couple of seconds and then all of a sudden all the power in the van went out it and i went and looked at the uh, control panel and it, it was rebooting so i thought something's going wrong with my cooktop again i don't know if i've told this story before but i had an issue with the cooktop once before and pleasure way sent me a new one to replace it so I was still dreading having to go through that again. And then, um, so I turned the generator on and I tried it again and of course it works with the generator. So I don't know, that would be a clue to anybody but me. <laughs> I thought it must have something to do with the inverter. So 
the next day I was heating, going to heat something up in the microwave, and I just thought, well, let's see, let's see. If, well, actually, it didn't even occur to me that the microwave wouldn't work because I thought the issue was with the cooktop. So I put some leftovers in the microwave and turned it on, and a couple of seconds later, the whole system rebooted again. All the lights went out. I went and looked at the control panel and it was rebooting. So I turned on the generator and of course it let me heat up my food in the microwave. So I emailed the warranty department at Pleasure Way and told them what was happening. And it was actually after hours. Um, so I didn't I didn't get a response until the next morning, but it was first thing in the morning. I did get a response. And the tech suggested that uh, possibly one of the batteries was asleep. That had maybe run out of power and it had fallen asleep. So he gave me instructions on how to reset those batteries. And so I'm gonna show you what I did that he t I followed his instructions and um, I'll tell you what they are first turn the battery off at the control panel then go to the batteries at the back of the van and uh, disconnect with turn the take the red key out which disconnects the charging to the batteries from the solar panels and then there were some reset buttons at the bottom of each battery I ha held those for 10 seconds and then I turned the disconnect back off so that the bat so that the solar panels will charge the batteries. And then I went back inside and I turned the uh, batteries back on and the display panel came up. And after that, I made some coffee to test it. The batteries were, I'm guessing one of, one of the batteries was probably not charged at all because it took a really long time for it to show up the percentage of the batteries that have to be charged up 100% in order to, to show that status on the display panel. So I actually ended up running the generator for a while just to, to, get, it, to get it charged. And uh, it's working now. I can use the cook top I can use the microwave and my solar panels are charging my batteries like they're supposed to so if anybody has a pleasure way um, well mine's a plateau FL but it probably would be the same for some of the other models as well if you're having a problem with your batteries you might try resetting the batteries because that solved all of my problems According to the instructions, I need to turn off the battery here. That turns all the power off in the van. And then, I have to come around to the back. And this is going to be hard to film because this little thing keeps flopping down here. There's this little red disconnect. I don't know which way it turns. So take that out. And then I have to push these reset buttons at the same time. So I'm gonna have to set my tripod up to get that on film. So I'll be right back. Okay, let's see if I can do this without blocking your view. We got one here and one here. And I'm pushing them until the lights flash for 10 seconds. I don't see any lights flashing. So I'm not sure if that did anything. Oh, there they go. Okay, so they're resetting. I don't know if you can see the lights turned green in there. It doesn't look like any lights are on, but let's 
put the key back in. Turn it back on. And then we'll go back inside. So the batteries have to be at 100% before it will show the percentage of batteries left. Now, they were at 100%, but it's probably just under 100%. Well, I guess I'm going to try it and see if uh, I can use the cooktop. So I'm going to make some coffee. And I wanted to add one more thing. You know that I bought a Blue Eddy system not too long ago. Uh, hoping that I can run the air conditioner. Well, I finally got it set up to where I could plug the RV 30 amp cable, you know, power cable into the Blue Eddy so that my van will, and whatever else I have plugged into the Blue Eddy would, would run off that Blue Eddy. And I tested turning the air conditioner on and it came on. I can't start the air conditioner in my van unless the generator's running. So that was a huge thing for me. Um, of course, it, would, it was consuming like 900 watts <laughs> with all the stuff that I had plugged in and the, and the air conditioner running. And I only have a 350 watt panel, so uh, I would have to have a couple more 350 watt panels if I wanted to be able to run the air conditioner using the Blue Eddy. But I know that it can be done now, and in a pinch, I could run it for a couple of hours off the battery just to get the band cooled down. So that was another plus, too. So it's been a very good last couple of days. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and like. It really helps out my little small channel. And we'll see you in the next video.